Young Rush welcomes you. Being a socially responsible organization, Young Rush represents how sound pollution damages the environment and measures to reduce it. Not all sound is considered noise pollution. The World Health Organization defines noise above 65 decibels as noise pollution. To be precise, noise becomes harmful when it exceeds 75 decibels and is painful above 120 decibels. Constant loud noise can damage human health and the environment in many ways, such as effect on physical health, respiratory agitation, racing pulse, high blood pressure, headaches, and even heart attacks in case of constant and loud sound, effect on psychological health, attacks of stress, fatigue, depression, anxiety, and hysteria in both humans and animals, sleep and behavioral disorders, noise above 45 decibels stops you from falling asleep or sleeping properly, aggressive behavior, and irritability, memory and concentration, noise may affect people's ability to focus and also be bad for the memory, making it hard to study, effects on environment, Whales are among the most affected in marine life, as their hearing helps them orient themselves, feed, and communicate. Land animals are also affected in the form of traffic, firecrackers, etc., and birds are especially affected by the increased air traffic. After seeing such hazardous effects of sound pollution, here are some solutions to reduce it. Avoid very noisy leisure activities. Opt for alternatives means of transport such as bicycles or electric vehicles overtaking the car. Government should establish regulations that include preventive and corrective measures. The mandatory separation between residential zones and sources of noise like airports, fines for exceeding noise limits, etc. Install noise insulation in new buildings. Familiarize yourself with the behavior and life cycles of on-site wildlife so that you can avoid noisy maintenance during peak foraging or breeding times. Well educate your younger generation to reduce noises. Trees cut down noise, hence growing more trees not only helps in reducing global warming, but also controls sound pollution. We hope you would also contribute to reducing sound pollution by applying these steps. Thanks for watching.